Did you know that if you were to buy GTA 4 on Steam right now, if you were to build a brand new computer by the complete edition of GTA 4 on Steam, it wouldn't work? The game only detects 5, 12 megabytes of VRAM, and it has this screenshot bug where it starts to stutter, and it's just, it's unplayable. It's completely borked, and everybody knows that. You have to use these downgraders to downgrade it to an older version. Did you know that if you download version 1.0.0.8, which was like the good patch that people liked, which was released in like 2012 or something, um, at the end of installing that official patch that you can download from the Rockstar Games website, it says the requirement of games, uh, the requirement of Rockstar Games Social Club has been removed. You can now play Grand Theft Auto 4 without Rockstar Games Social Club. Thank you. Have a nice day. That's what it says. And for years, people were playing GTA 4, loving it. Nobody had any problems. And then in 2020, out of nowhere, they just brute force required Rockstar Games Social Club again. But they did it in a sloppy way that permanently broke the game for everyone. So, like, what the fuck? Like, what the absolute fuck? Rockstar Games is the most disgusting company to ever exist. They used to be cool. They were cool in the making of this game. Like... You could find evidence of, like, just typical rock star, like, humor. Like, okay, there's a, a signboard that says pirate music, pirate videos, pirate everything, and it's in Times Square. And it's just like, oh, that's typical rock star humor, you know? But, like, what happened? What, like, that complete 180-degree switch where they're, they're, like, completely toxic, just, like, unsentimental, just, like, not really caring about gamers anymore like when did that happen when did it get taken over by like corporate suits that are just toxic just completely toxic like gta 4 is still on the top 100 like seller list for like 20 years it's been like a healthy selling game it's you could still find it probably in the top 100 top sellers on steam it's always been it's it's a cash cow for them it's all like, why don't they respect the games that made them? Like, why don't they res respect us? Did you know, like, if you contact Rockstar just, like, for a support ticket or something, they just don't help you, straight up. And not only that, but, like, there's other s places where, like, okay, when I bought Red Dead Redemption 2 on Steam for $30, and I locked, and I logged into my Rockstar Games Social Club for the first time in eight years... And it worked, my login information and password worked fine. Within 30 seconds of doing that, my account was stolen. And my password was changed somehow. And the email address was changed to some Chinese website. Within 30 seconds. How is that, like, even possible? I've never seen that in my life. Like, Rockstar Games cares so little about us that they actually, like, have a disdain for us. Like, they, like, want us... I don't know, they hate us for some reason. I have no idea why. They hate the people who pay their fucking bills. Alright, sorry. Thanks for listening.